Welcome back, guys. This uh, this is a super special video because something like really cool happened. I, I was contacted by the guys at, at the higher ups at YouTube, and they saw that I had surpassed five thousand subscribers, and they were super impressed. They said, you know, reloading such a small community, we can't believe it. So what they've done is they have awarded me with a special lead play button award for surpassing 5,000 subscribers. I am truly honored. And I'd like to thank them um, for awarding me with this amazing plaque for such a, uh, such an accomplishment. I mean, I gotta be honest, tooting my own horn a little bit here, but I mean, that's, what an amazing accomplishment. So, I've been trying to think of something I could do special to commemorate this achievement. And this isn't easy for me. I, what I want to do is bring you guys on the inside of some pretty personal stuff for me and basically make a confession here because I am a gray man. W-R-O-L, sheepdog, minute man, S-H-T-F, basically, is what I want to tell you guys. And I want to show you some of my preparations that I'm making to serve in that role when I am needed. You know, and I take being a gray man, sheepdog, W-R-O-L, S-H-T-F, Minute Man, very seriously. And I train constantly to be an elite tactical warfighter. And that's what I want to show you guys today. So I'm at an advantage as I train for this critical mission because I was in the Marine Corps. And although I fixed radios in the air wing and it was before 9-11, still, you know, the old sayings are still true. Every Marine is a basic elite tactical warfighter. We've all heard it. Basically, a guy fixing radios in the air wing is basically no different than like the guys dangling from helicopters. Like all they would need to do is show me how to do that helicopter dangle thingy and I would be ready for whatever may come, brother. Whatever may come. So I'm starting from a, you know, uh, yeah, I'm starting from, I got a head start here. So I want to see if I can share some of my preparation and maybe give you guys an idea of what you need to do. So I've loaded up some ammunition and I mean, this is, this is kind of stuff I don't really show on the main channel, you know, or on the, on the main videos because I mean, this is serious stuff. If you're not a gray man, sheepdog, minute man, W-R-O-L, you have no need for this sort of stuff. So first of all, this is a 65 Grindel. Like, I'm afraid to even touch it. If you can see this, this orange tip. We're talking armor piercing, fragmenting, tracer, full metal jacket, ballistic tip, boat tail, match, VLD, depleted titanium is what, I mean, is what we're talking about here. So that's what we'll be shooting. I mean, that's for our sniper rifle, the 65 Grindel. The most important weapon is your sidearm, right? So this is some nine millimeter that I've worked up. You can see 
It's uh, tactically green tipped. I'm, I'm not even allowed to talk about these. We're talking about seriously amazing ammo. And that's what we'll be running through our Glock 19. Now, for our close quarters combat, we've got this. This is 300 blackout. Basically, zero to a thousand meters, you're freaking dead, brother. You are dead. Like a 400 grain bullet sails through the air, like zero drop. And this, this is also, you can see this uh, red tip. Also depleted titanium, armor piercing, tracer, incendiary, fragmenting. So let's get out to the range and I want to run you through a couple drills. And the first, well, I mean, we need to talk a little bit about more equipment because almost as important as your weapon systems and your ammunition for those weapon systems is your tactical vest slash plate carrier. And I wanna give you guys a quick run through of my plate carrier before we get running drills. So let's head outside. All right, I want to cover a few uh, features of this uh, plate carrier and tactical vest here. Uh, this has been a really good one for me. Couple things. So, I mean, of course, it's got tons of storage, you know, your magazine pouches and things of that nature. On the inside, we've got huge pockets here for tons of magazines and stuff. I'll tell you what, I'll just leave it off the rack because I want to give you a really good up close look at this. So on both of the shoulders are these hidden compartments and they actually put these orange things in there. I'm not sure why, but uh, what I do is this is a, this is a solid place for your suicide pill. You know, if you're, uh, if you're captured by Lima forces and uh, you know, you've got OPSEC to worry about. You, you, you just absolutely cannot. I mean, the secrets you're carrying, you're going to be carrying with you at that point. Because here's the thing. You're training. As soon as your irregular unit stands up, they're going to recognize you as a leader. They're going to see you for what you are. And, I mean, you're going to at least be a platoon leader or something of that nature. So you're going to be entrusted with some serious secrets. So I think... Having a suicide pill on you at all times is probably prudent under those circumstances. You know, I don't have one in there yet because, you know, we're still, you know, arguably uh, living in a uh, functioning society, but I do have them in the safe so that, you know, they can be deployed into my, uh, into my plate carrier at a moment's notice. The other thing down here, and <laughs> check this out. Look at that patch, plausible deniability. It's got turkey stuff on it. I don't know, something about turkeys. So if you're, if you're seen carrying it and like, you know, you've got, uh, you've got your guns and stuff, you can just be like, Hey, I'm turkey hunting and dude, they'll never even know. So big feature. I mean, this whole thing is stealth. The whole freaking thing is straight up stealth. They're not going to know what hit them. So but uh, what I like to do, I keep this pouch with some seeds in there so that, you know, if I ever need to, you know, bug out, I'll have some seeds. I'll be able to basically live indefinitely with some seeds there. So now as far as plating, I like to go really light. These have got like here right behind your spine are a couple of, uh, I think this is AR-17 it's only rated for airsoft, but 
dude, listen, ounces make pounds, okay? Ounces freaking make pounds. And while you're lagging behind getting shot in your big uh, honking steel plated carrier, I'm gonna be hauling ass and I'll be at distance enough to where this is gonna be sufficient protection for me in those situations. On the back, it's also got, it's, it's kind of pretty cool. Hanger back up here. It's got an additional, uh, it's, it's got an additional plate. I think this is also AR-17. Uh, it's got, yeah, this plate, which co either covers the rest of your back or you can drop it for leg protection. So it'll hang down and protect the back of your legs because, you know, ambulation is key. If you get, if you take shrapnel or something in the legs, I mean, that's going to make bugging out so hard. So I like to have some, uh, some leg protection and that's exactly what this affords me. I'll give up a little bit on the lower back for some additional leg protection any day of the week. And something I think is pretty cool, like right here on the back, it says super elite. Can you see that? It says super elite. <laughs> yeah, elite tactical warfighter style right here in a uh, totally nondescript. I mean, you could basically wear this. It, it basically it almost looks like, a, you know, a normal vest that a guy would wear. So, yep, this is my carrier. Super happy with it. And... It just, it doesn't get in my way, which is one of the big, uh, big things. So, okay, enough of this stuff. Let's actually get to shooting. And what I, I want to, I want to take us through a three-step progression. And I want to start with sniping because that's probably going to be your first action to take, you know, in the event of, that you need to mobilize. We're talking like, you know, before your irregular unit has been standed up or any of that stuff. I mean, there are basically no rebel forces yet. Everybody's on their own. And what you can do is set up as a sniper and you're basically protecting your neighbors and like uh, your, your, your crops. Cause you know, you got seeds, you've planted your seeds and now you basically need to protect that area to make sure it is secure and that your neighborhood is secure and all of that stuff. So that's what we're going to start with. Let's start with sniping and we'll move on from there. All right, so sniping is pretty much the easy part. All you do is you get a big gun with a big scope and pick them off. So I think we're at about, eh, I'm not all that great at judging distance, but I think this is about 5,000 yards. So let's just mag dump, see what we can do. See how easy it is? Like guys are always like cranking on their scopes and doing stuff and Man, that's really all it takes. I think you've seen enough of this. Let's move on to a uh, little bit of CQB. A little bit of woods walk type of uh, reactionary shooting with our 300 blackout. Safety off. It's mag.
Target neutralized.